Hello. So we're here at the house to do some work and we set the kids up with a movie and a blanket and it's like a whole movie party happening in here. They've got popcorn and everything. Um, and while they do that, Michael is going to do some waterline stuff or um, he's doing something. Um, but I'm going to be preparing some wood because we want, I want to plank, this is the laundry room and I want to plank the walls in here and in the kids bathroom with the old flooring that was in the house before we started ripping everything apart. But it's full of nails. So I have to, and there it was, it's tongue and groove wood. So I have to use the grinder um, rather than trying to pry all the wood. I'm sorry, all the nails out of the wood. I'm gonna use the grinder and I'm just gonna just grind them off real fast. So I'm gonna get to work. I have to go down to the RV to get the grinder and I have had some questions about the RV and whether or not we're still gonna use it. And the answer is yes, we are, but we've been so busy trying to um, basically be the general contractor for the house and keep you know all of our people that um, we've hired to work for us going um, because they all have been working so fast um, that we just haven't even had time to even think about it um, but we do plan to finish it we do plan to live in this while we finish the rest of the house down there um, and I'll just show you where we are as far as the progress goes um, it's looking really good. We've got all of the um, walls covered and all of the electric is run and then we have this is the kids bunk over here and then we have a, a shower situation happening here. We don't have the rest of the partitions up in the walls but there'll be you know a wall a wall here in between the bathroom space and the rest of it. Like, there'll be a wall right there, and then a wall between the bathroom and the kids' room. But it's definitely coming along. We've just had to hit a major pause button on this oh, every time I bump my head. Because we really are trying to keep the motion up at the big house um, going. So, okay, i got to find my grinder now. So, here's my job. Making all... Oh, of course, that one just breaks right off. But getting all of these nails out of this wood because it's nice. Well, <laughs> this has texture on it, but it's nice um, long leaf pine. It's tongue and groove. And so we're going to use all of this to plank the walls. And then we'll sand it and then we'll paint it. But first, I have to get all these nails out. It's pretty labor intensive. But I think it will make for a really cool texture on the wall when we put it up there. Uh, it's getting dark and the mosquitoes are starting to eat me alive. So I think we're going to head back. Good morning. I'm here with our paint. We bought 10 gallons and I'm going to paint a swatch on the wall to make sure that it's not a hideous color. So I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I've got a big nice color swatch on the wall. It's like a creamy white. And Michael thinks that all whites are the same. I disagree. So I chose, it's kind of a slightly warm toned, maybe a little bit gray white. Can you see it? No, it just looks like white on the house. I think it'll work. <laughs> Other happenings in the house. Uh, plumbing. Um, I think this is a box that Michael has built to put the hot water heater on. And then, I don't know what else has happened here. <laughs> Lots of plumbing stuff. I think all the venting pipes have been put in. And uh, the wastewater pipes, I think. 
I don't know, this is kind of the boring sort of part of this whole uh, process because it's not like the framing. The framing is like it goes up and you can see a huge difference. Like it's an obvious like big change because you have a whole structure. All the systems putting into place, I mean, it's not as uh, the wow factor isn't there, I guess we'll say. But it's still progress. So I'm going to ask Michael where, where he is on all of that. Good morning. Uh, I am out on the back porch at Mom and Dad's um, working on the, whoops, the electric placement final sheet to give to our electrician who's coming today and might already be there. So I kind of have to finish this up. But I, I've never had to think through exactly where I would want every single plug to be. Like I know where I want all the lights. Um, but plugs, I feel like, I don't know, are a little trickier because I know I need a bunch in the kitchen because we have undermount lighting and I want to hide the microwave in the pantry and then you know you need plugs in the kitchen for kitchen things but like where else where all on the walls do people put plugs <laughs> so I'm thinking through that this morning and I have not had nearly enough coffee and I should have already done this and I had done one like kind of preliminary plan but you know I, I wanted to give him a clean copy like this was the other one and it's like really messy looking so is this better see it's just got scribbles all over it now so I wanted to give him a nice clean copy with just the electric stuff written down on it so that's what I'm doing this morning and then I think tomorrow the painters come and that is exciting too because it makes a big change and the Sun is just a few things me. and what I wanted to do in our kitchen so I had planned to have three um, wall-mounted sconces over here above the um, sink. I have to change but, it. But um, see this big header kind of means I can't do that if you can't really see me. So um, instead we have to do a pendant light um, above the sink, centered here in the sink. Or the sink is centered right here in the window. So a pendant light is going to have to come down right in the middle of that. So. Um, I wanted to kind of make sure that the ones I was looking at would it be good in the space. I'm really visual. I'm a very visual tactile person, so I kind of have to like be in the space and look at it and walk around in it. And so because I'm changing what I was going to do over the window, it also kind of changes what I was going to do above the table. So our table is centered in the middle of the peak right there. And I think instead of one bigger pendant light, I want to do two smaller pulley system lights because they're really cool looking lights and I think that they would look good in the space. Do you have any opinions on that? Nope. That's why I like them. <laughs> ah! This may be our last pool of the our pool session of the year. Cause it's really cold in there. <laughs> Y'all don't think it's cold? 